not only the tallest, but also, in this case, the most patient animal in the world. Our giraffe's been very, very kind to us, and he's decided to stick around. I'm not sure it's because of us, or if because, perhaps, he's just enjoying eating this bush. Now, there you go, you can see why. His long neck works to his advantage in this case. Look at the way that he's reaching up right to the top of this bush and getting into the middle where there's very few animals that could actually eat in that particular spot. And you'll see there's birds hopping about on him as well. They're helping to keep his coat nice and clean. Now watch carefully because you can see that tree doesn't look particularly nice to eat, does it? There's lots and lots of sticks and lots of leaves that could go in his eyes. But watch carefully as he feeds. Oh, there's that long tongue. And you can see he's got long, long eyelashes to help to protect his eyes. See how his eyes are closing? And he's got thick eyelashes around the edge. And that's to make sure that the sticks and the thorns don't actually scratch his sensitive eyes while he feeds like this. He's reaching right in. And not only does he have that advantage, but you saw his tongue poking out earlier. Well, that is a very, very long tongue indeed. In fact, it's around about 30 centimeters of tongue. So giraffe have very peculiar, very long tongues. There he goes, wandering along down the road, off to his next snack. Uh, welcome to Lily, who would like to know what the temperature is here. Lily, apparently it is 78 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 25 in centigrade. So there you go, it's actually quite warm, considering that we're actually going into winter now, but it still stays hot here for a long, long time. So it very seldom gets too cold in the way that I imagine it might get wherever you're from, Lily. But thank you, Lily, for sending through that question. You can see the giraffe is actually enjoying the late afternoon heat. He's not looking for any shade. Uh, Mackenzie, as our giraffe wanders away, and we'll try and catch up with him. Mackenzie, you want to know why the giraffe has spots? Well, one of the reasons that has been suggested, Mackenzie, because the truth is we don't always know exactly why an animal has certain things. But one of the reasons that has been suggested is because spots out here work really well to hide an animal away. Kind of like that camouflage that you saw with the chameleon. In the case of the giraffe, it helps to break up its outline so that it's harder to see when it's walking behind the trees. There's also some people who believe that the spots actually help to control the giraffe's body temperature. So they say that the dark spots get hot. Oh, he's having a scratch. They say that the dark spots get hot. There he goes. Oh, he's just stopped. And now he's wandering off again. There he goes. And I think this might be the last view we get unless he decides to stop and eat this tree. Please stop and eat this tree. Good boy. Ele and Sonare, you want to know why are those birds on his back? Well, the answer to that is they're a very, very helpful type of bird called an oxpecker. And if you watch what they're doing, they're combing through the giraffe's fur and they're looking for something called ticks. And ticks, I'm sure you've encountered where you are. A tick is an insect, or at least it's, a, it's an insect-like thing, that likes to crawl onto the skin of animals and then bite into their skin and suck their blood. And they make the skin very, very itchy. So those birds are actually at the moment helping that giraffe because he can't pick them off with his finger and with his thumb. And maybe if James is able to, perhaps he'll be able to find you a tick to show you what they look like. So those ox pickers are pulling off the ticks on the back of the giraffe and helping him out. Sometimes if the giraffe has a sore place on his skin, if it's something like a scratch or a scar, the ox pickers actually pick and pick and pick and pick at it, then it doesn't actually heal. So they can be helpful and they can be harmful. It just depends on what the situation is. There goes our giraffe, wandering off. Shall we see if we can catch up with him? I'm not sure we're gonna be able to, but hopefully we can. Here he 
go. We're going to have to go all the way around to get another view of him. I'm hoping he's going to go for a drink because that's always entertaining to watch giraffe drink because they have to spread out their front legs wide in a sort of a, a split-like motion so that they can get their head all the way down to the water. Here we go. Oh, he keeps running away. Not, he's not running away, he's just moving away. And one of the reasons why he's doing that is because the plants and the leaves are releasing a substance that make them not so nice to eat. So he's got to keep moving from tree to tree. Oh, it sounds as though James has managed to find you one of those creatures that likes to live on the skin of animals. Let's go and have a look. <laughs> 